Alrighty, critters, welcome to today's vlog. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna make a video on some of the solar-powered lighting that I'm putting outside pretty cheaply, but that's gonna be for tomorrow, so you can actually see it. I might take some pictures tonight because they'll look cool, and then put them in the video tomorrow for the next video. But anyway, today we did some. The last couple days, did some shopping, and. Um, Know, thrift stores, big lots, uh, big um, yard sale kind of family business store thing on Route 66. I want to show you guys some of the stuff I got. Um, so, a whole bunch of things. First of all, I found banana moon pies. I love banana moon pies, and they're so hard to find. I always find the chocolate ones or the vanilla ones, but I never find a banana one, so I finally found banana ones. That was cool. I uh, went to big lots, got some neat stuff. I got some Hunt's four cheese for a buck um, you can get Hunt's spaghetti sauce at um, Dollar Tree but it's not it's usually meat or rare manner flavor you know you don't get a whole lot of choice of flavor so getting the four cheese is nice I like different flavors of sauce they had one bag of the um, Fusilli 98 um, available my sister loves the different kinds of pasta so I was like what the heck we'll get it and I think it lost track of me. Ah, come get me. <laughs> ah, yeah, face tracking is lost, and I don't know how to get it back. It's because I stuck this in front of it. <laughs> but it looks like we have a good view, so we're going to leave it. They also had the, um, I call them specialty sodas. You know, um, they're sodas that are made with cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup. We don't get these very often because, well, they're not exactly cheap. You know, they're a buck a piece or 85 cents a piece. Not expensive, but they're also not diet. So this is like a treat kind of thing that we get every now and then. I got root beer and she got cream soda. Um, they also, I wanted to get them from Walmart, but they were out. But I finally got some pumpkin spice pancake mix. I love making pancakes and I love pumpkin spice. So I got a couple boxes of the pumpkin spice. I also got myself a reef for the door for the fall. I keep my eyes out for one that grabs me. It's not usually about price, although a lot of the times price will keep me from buying one. Like I found a really pretty one that was 40 bucks and I'm just not spending 40 bucks on a reef. This was 10 <laughs> and I like it, it looks nice. So that'll be my fall reef. I have a big thing with decorating. I love decorating my house. It's part of what gives me pleasure in you know home ownership and whatnot so you'll be seeing a lot of decorating I, as i can afford it of course but i love decorating um i also finally and only a dollar too um at big lots i finally found the wooden stick cotton swabs i hate when i have shit in my ears and um they're i hate the plastic ones because they just bend <laughs> so i finally found the wooden stick ones at a reasonable price you know that's 300 of them for a buck so bought two that's probably a four or five year supply <laughs> um, I think it was like two something for the box of these um, anything else from Big Lots? yes I got this so finally got a reasonably okay but still cheap it was like five dollars and eighty cents um, dish drainer you, know, you put in you have two sinks you put this in one and you put your dishes in here to drain so finally got one of those I want to get a nice one eventually but this was nice enough for the price and don't want to go crazy. Also, Fruit Loops. Can you see that? There it is. They had the big family size box of Fruit Loops for a dollar. I bought all four. They had five, but the fifth one was smashed up pretty good, so I bought the four. Buck a piece. Oh, yeah. Wait until we talk about these later. These are great. Um, at that family thrift store, their, their whole house is just full of stuff, and um, they were selling stuff. Uh, I got a couple of neat things. First, I got this. It was eight bucks. This is pretty cool. It's one of those little portable picture viewers. Um, so, it's a little LCD screen, battery powered, and you can load pictures. So, let me load up some pictures. There we go. I've loaded it up with a bunch of Migration West pictures. There we go. So there's a bunch of pictures from us moving out to New Mexico. 
I, I think I'm going to do something interesting with this. I think it would be neat. Um, I think I could put an SD card in here. I got to see, can I put pictures on an SD card and simply have it read them? This plugs in as USB mass storage, but it's write protected. You can't write to it. You can copy from it, but not write to it. You have to use the little bit of software that comes on the virtual CD drive in order to write to it, which is a pain in the ass. Why would you do that? Why not just let me dump JPEGs onto the thing? You know, sure, some people might not be smart enough to figure out that you have to make JPEG 640 by 480 or whatever, but you know, you know not all of us are stupid. <laughs> I think it would be neat to um, do a round the world mailing. So basically, um, get a little waterproof case that I could fit this in and mail this all over the world and just have people add pictures. Like tell everybody, um, you know, shrink your pictures down to, you know, um, a four by three. So crop them to be four by three to fit on the screen um, or title bar them, you know, um, you know, put the black bars on it. So if you're gonna do 16 by nine, black bar them so that the actual image is still 640 by 480. And if you need to say, you know, everybody um, put 20 pictures on it and then pass it along to the next person Somebody will probably keep it at some point or get lost or who knows, I don't know. But it only cost me $8 and I think that would be a really fun project. People can make little videos and send them in to me showing, you know, where they're at and, you know, add, you know, 20, 30, 40 pictures because if I put a 32 gig SD card in here that'll hold thousands of pictures. I think you are limited on the number of pictures that the viewer can play. I think the viewer can only watch, um, I think the viewer can only see Where's my drink? There it is. Um, a thousand pictures. So I think it would be really cool. You know, maybe have two folders. I have one folder for the viewer and one folder where you can add other pictures you want. Um, but just send it from person to person and say, add some pictures, add some pictures, add some pictures. And have people add pictures. Even at 20 pictures, that's five people per hundred. And... Um, so that's um, 20 people we can mail it to before this would be full. You know, it's 1,000 picture limit. If that limit is actually there, I'll have to check. Maybe it's 10,000. And I just think that'd be fun. So maybe we'll do something with that. Um, I also got a big step stool. There's actually stuff in it. I haven't even opened it. Some junk tools, whatever. But the point is, it's a taller step stool that is strong enough to hold my weight. So now I can actually reach things up on the ceiling better because this is twice as tall as the little ones I have. So I got that for 10 bucks. What else? Anything else I care to show from Big Lots? I don't think so. I think that's it for the Big Lots stuff. Um, I watched this guy on YouTube. So I ordered a CD, Tokyo Myers. It was eight bucks. So I was like, what the hell? His, his, his videos from that... Britain's Got Talent or whatever it was were great, so I bought a CD. Haven't listened to too much of it yet. That's basically it from Big Lots. So now we move on to other stuff. We stopped by a thrift store. And uh, first we stopped by Goodwill. Nothing but clothes, very high prices. Screw that, left. Lady says, hey, there's another thrift store you know, right there across the street, and they have good stuff. We went there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like a jackpot. <laughs> I spent 120 bucks at this thrift store. I got a couple little trinkets. My sister wanted this keychain. I'm not going to say the words, but you can read it. There it is. There we go. <laughs> she liked that, so it was a buck, so we got that. I got this Smith's um, Feeding the Human Spirit. And um, I believe this is the Smith's Grocery Store because it looks like their logo. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I also, I, I thought this, I like this restaurant and I just thought this was a cool thing. These were all buck. Uh, Outback Steakhouse pin. I got this. Um, New Mexico Route 66 Association pin. I just thought that was kind of cool. And then this, I guess this is just like a standard generic pin of the Zia. That's the logo they use in New Mexico. It's called the Zia logo. Oh, there it goes. Focus. There we go. That's called the Zia. But some cool pins. I like that. I thought they were neat. Only a dollar piece, 99 cents. 
And um, this was the worst deal of the bunch, but I needed it. Five bucks for a USB A to B cable because I got to plug in my printer so I can print out some documents. Um, my sister got some puzzles. She loves jigsaw puzzles. So these were two bucks a piece. We got that one. And then this nice Disneyland Resort Diamond Celebration. So, uh, not bad for a buck. Two bucks a piece, $1.99. Um, some lights I got off Amazon. Um, you've seen these lights. I'll show you more later when I do tomorrow's video. But this is a cheaper version of the light. There's two of them in here for less than what I paid for one of the other ones. And the only difference is it has these little side marker lights. I guess you can see from the side when it's dim or whatever. But also no remote. But I don't need a remote. As long as it has the big solar panel and the big battery and it's super bright and it is crazy super bright. I have four of these out front and it lights up like day. You just drive your car through it and boom, they all turn on motion sensing. And it's really, really nice. Um, but the mode one is the one I use. And the way that works is it's on dim. This way it can go all night. And when it detects motion, boom, it turns on bright and gets super, super bright. I also started grabbing lights. These are commercial grade LED lights. They were like, I don't know, 25 bucks a set. It was like 67 feet, so almost long enough to cover my building. And this is red and orange. I have purple coming in on Monday because that's the three colors I need for now because for Halloween, I'll use orange and purple and for fall, I'll use orange and red. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mount like eight strings of light up on the front edge of the building and then just leave them up. And I'll have a whole bunch of plugs in a little box down here and each one will be color coded. And I'll be like, okay, it's Halloween. Plug in the orange and the purple. <laughs> Halloween's over. Okay, unplug the purple, plug in the red for the fall colors. You know, Christmas is coming, unplug those two and plug in the multicolor. New Year's is coming, plug in the golden white <laughs> or, the, or the shiny white, the clear of daylight white. Um, you know, St. Patty's Day is coming up, plug in the green. Easter's coming up, plug in the pink, you know. Valentine's Day is coming up, plug in the red. So I, just, I can always have the lights up because these will, it's so dry out here, I don't have to worry about the weather ruining them. And the front of the house is the shaded side of the house so they won't get sun bleached too badly. And um, I just unplug and plug in whatever set of lights I need for whatever holiday is currently there. So yeah, I don't have to keep going up and down the ladder. <laughs> The um, Crocs had a sale from their warehouse, so I got a couple pair of Crocs. I got two pair of these and a pair of the silver shaded color change ones, but these are my favorite. I got these are 15 bucks a pair. Um, they only last about three months for me, so I got to buy a bunch of them. But these, are, these last a little longer because these are the Bistro ones. So they actually have that insert in the bottom there. See, there's this plastic rubber insert attached to the bottom of the shoe. And this takes wear a lot better than the croc light material. Cross light, croc light, whatever you call it. Um, so these last a lot longer. These are my favorite. They also have the deep heel. So you don't have to worry about your foot coming out of the shoe. These are nice. They still have a couple on sale. Do a search for croc warehouse sale. Basically they're moving their entire warehouse. And so they're just selling off a bunch of stuff they don't want to move to the other warehouse. Okay. Um, also finally got large glasses. Four bucks a piece at a thrift store. Little, actually that was two ninety nine. Interesting. They're the same glasses. Huh. Those two were $3.99. This one was $2.99. <laughs> but they're all the same. But some big over 24 ounce glasses so I can make my tea. I didn't bring a whole lot of my big glasses from home because I figured why transport these heavy ass glasses across the country when I can just go to Dollar Tree with 10 bucks and buy 10. Yeah, they stopped selling the 26 ounce glasses. Now they have these little dinky 16 ounce glasses. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? What are you going to do? I think I have like six or seven of them in the bus. Hopefully. Um, then the real jackpot. Check this out. My sister needed shoes. I didn't realize she only brought one pair of shoes from home. Uh, I guess she hadn't gotten any new shoes in a while or whatever, but it's like, you got to have decent shoes. I mean, when you're heavy as I am, you you have to have shoes, good shoes. So I got her a cheap pair at Walmart. They're fine, they work, but they're not great. But then we went to the thrift store today and hit a gold mine. These are kickers, they are leather. These are like Timberlands. So they got their real nice leather interior, leather suede exterior, and they're pink. And these were 20 bucks. 
I checked online, these average between $95 and $140. So really, really nice shoes. I like the little nautical aviation thing they have going here. Green, green, red, red. I like the lights on the boat or an airplane. <laughs> Whatever. But now she has a nice pair of boots for the winter, a nice pair of shoes for going out because they look really nice. I mean, these are damn nice shoes. And then her favorite brand is Skechers. Very expensive shoes, if you know anything about Skechers. We got a set of mauve pink Skechers. And they fit great. And they look great. So now she has a real nice pair of good high quality Skechers. And we found a and those were $10? Yeah, 10 bucks. And we found a pair of Nikes. So now she has a really nice pink purple pair of Nikes. And these were eight bucks. $7.99? Yeah, $7.99. So eight dollars for a really nice pair of Nikes. Um, got four shirts. So she can have more nice shirts to wear. So scored them for five, 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 and four. So 19 bucks for four shirts her size. Not freaking bad. Uh, in that box right there is the 20 by 26 shade sale that I got for 140 bucks off Amazon. Since I can't afford to put a canopy up over the patio out back that I'm going to get put in Tuesday. The, he's coming out to do prep work and move my containers on Monday. And then we're going to pour concrete on Tuesday. I'm getting a 20 by 30 pad put out back. Shrunk it down a whole lot since the containers don't need anything inside or underneath. And then the rest we're going to put on the driveway out front to clean up the driveway a little bit. Um, I saw this nice little pumpkin basket. I really liked it. Four bucks. I ended up paying eight dollars for it because I'm a dummy and didn't realize that this stuff inside wasn't included. This was not visible. This was underneath. So I just assumed that this was selling for four. Nope. I guess at some point because I found it on the receipt. I was trying to figure out where's the extra three ninety nine coming from. I would check my receipts. I was like, you know, I said, that's this, this is that, and that's this. Where the hell is this extra $3.99? There it is. <laughs> that's probably more than it cost to buy new at Big Lots. That's very annoying. So I would not have taken that if I had known that wasn't part of it. But I like the basket. The basket's cool. So that'll be a nice display piece to put on the counter. I like decorating. Call me weird. I don't care. <laughs> and then another really good find... All that stuff, yep, is I got another one of the Black & Decker cordless vacuums. And it works, so this needs to be cleaned out big time. <laughs> this is one of the older models that doesn't have, the one I have has a cradle that you plug in. And then you just stick the vacuum on the cradle and it charges. This one, it's all built in and you have to plug the actual vacuum in back here to charge it. Um, the only thing that's missing is the little attachment here. So, if you're watching my other channel, Today's 3D Print, um, at some point I will be either finding or modeling the piece that fits on here, and I will be making the part that clips onto there. And it even has the spots to store them on here. So I wonder if I can remove that. Maybe that might actually come off, because I'd rather just get rid of that. Yeah, that piece might actually come off. But yeah, really nice vacuum, $8. <sighs> you ever see one of these and it works? For you know less than 30 bucks, just get it. These are very, very handy. Great for in your car, great for in small places in the house where you don't need a whole lot. You just want to suck up some bugs out of the windowsill, you know, door frame, little corner you missed somewhere in a closet. Instead of digging out the big vacuum, you just pull this little bugger out and it works wonderfully. And um, I think that's about it. Oh, my sister happened to find her L2 in her stuff, her uh, S2, Galaxy S2, which actually still has a pretty decent. 8 megapixel camera on board, so time lapse camera. I'll be using that as a time lapse camera, and it has a removable battery, so I can replace it or put a bigger battery in it. Um, what else? I do believe that is it. Um, the rest of the lighting stuff will be on the next video. But oh, I almost forgot. Let's see, how do I turn this? There it is. Oh, almost can't turn it off. There you go. See it right there? Yeah.
that's a real nice quilt that I got, really nice bright colored quilt. And that's going to go in the guest room. So I'm going to keep that as a guest room because my sister, her husband, and possibly my mom, I don't know if she's coming, but they're going to be visiting in January. So that's going to be fun. And um, at some point, my buddy, um, Sean and Dylan, they're going to come out at some point. They're going to make a trip and stop here. So I always want to have a guest room available. I already got the bed frames. I just got to get two twin mattresses. So I'll keep stalking Craigslist, find them super cheap or free. You know, decent ones, no nasty ones. I don't deal with nasty. Um, and now I have one comforter for one of the beds, and I've already got sheets. So as I find the pieces, I will put that room together. I think I'm going to remove the closet from that room. I really want my sister to have a bigger room. If I could ever afford it, I'd like to add a room onto the back of this house. Um, so that I can add a, a fourth bedroom onto the back of this house and then get rid of this bedroom in here, knock down the wall, you know, basically take out the closet so that my sister can have a bigger bedroom, like a little mini suite. So she'll have like two rooms connected you know, with an opening. And um, she's just put her stuff, her projects, her tables, stuff like that in the one room and keep her bedroom nice and clear so she has more room. But for now, I can't do that. It's beyond my means. But we shall see. Oh, I almost forgot one big thing I got. Just waiting for the blades to come in. <laughs> I got a sawzall. And it's brand freaking new. Um, came with the battery and the charger. And it's the XR. So it's the brushless sawzall. Um, my brother stole mine. I had a really nice, the old school Milwaukee. You know, the one actually called Sawzall. <laughs> Technically, this is a reciprocating saw. But we all call them Sawzalls. I had a real nice old school Milwaukee. I'm talking about the one with the triangular plug that you plugged in and locked in place and the metal red case. It was my dad's saw. And brother stole it. What are you going to do? So, got this with the battery and the charger for 130 bucks. The tool alone, the bare tool, sells for 157 on Amazon. So, that's a good deal. I think the kit is a little over 200. So, I got that for 130 bucks and I genuinely need this. I need to cut wood to put up the railing. I need to cut wood to fix my fencing. I need to cut out the windows and the two doors, the back door and the door that I eventually put in the container mega block layer. Um, cause I got the window I replaced on my front door. I got two more. It was, I needed two cause I wanted one for the back door. It was 260 for two with shipping or it was 300 for three free shipping. So for 40 bucks more, I got three, which ended up being a very good thing because now I have the second one for my back door because you can't see out the back door now. It's in the utility, so there's no windows or anything. So you can't see if there's something waiting for you at the back door, <laughs> which I don't like. Um, and then when I put a man door in the mega block, the workshop, I have a window for that too. So I can put a window in there. And so I will drill out holes and cut the hole in these for them. So very, very nice. And it's brand new. I mean, this has never been used. It is absolutely spotless. So got from a nice guy and, um, and that's how you unlock it to put your blades in. Multi-direction, multi-position blades. So you can mount the blade this way, this way, this way, or this way. And um, nice. So, and it's brushless, which is nice because it'll last forever. So now I have drill, mini impact gun, you know, the quarter inch impact gun. And um, this is all all. I think that's it. I will see you guys in the next video.